Now we'll show you how to get crafty with your wine bottles. Katie, mm. start us off. Yes, first things first, you gotta take that label off the bottle. So of hard to do with a razor blade and all that. Well, I'm gonna make it easy for you. So you just fill up a big pot with warm water, dish soap and baking soda goes in. You're gonna let it soak for about an hour or so and it's gonna just start coming off. If you have any problem, you get a little steel wool uh. and you just scrape it off with that and it'll just come right off, just like that. Oh. So I like to use these bottles to make little cruets. So I've got one with dish soap. You can get the little toppers online for a couple bucks. You just put them right on there. You can do it with vinegar. You can do it with olive oil. Very cool. You just cool. make a little funnel. You pour your oil in just like that. Easy breezy and you just fill it right up. And you can make a little label to go on and it makes a great gift, super cute. What do you got, Marcella? Um, obviously a lot of leftover wine bottles per my Instagram. I'm gonna create a really simple uh, candlestick holder that you think is so obvious, but there's a couple of tips that'll make it really easy. Number one, I like to go for clear bottles because they'll go with any tablescape. So once you make them, you can save them and you can just bring them out with any tablescape and because they're clear, they'll just match with anything. Very cool. Now in terms of the candle, it's really hard to find one that'll fit perfectly over the bottle. And so you're not purchasing wax and stuff, you just put them <gasps> upside Robot. down. How did I I'm never so think dumb. of that? So I'm easy. <laughs> Oh, there you go. the end, right? <laughs> Never get it. But what you need to do oh, is so you well. need to you need to burn the end to so that you out. exactly to get the wick out. And once you yes, burn so it, smart. or you can use a knife to kind of you know peel it off. And then once you do that, aha! There you go. That's very crafty. I love, I love it. Crafts. And it makes your table okay. look so beautiful. And the different height just add just that different element of design. Before I even get started, you win. <laughs> Thank All you. Right. Jeez. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to repurpose your old wine Ooh. bottles for your backyard. This is definitely just for outside use. I do this all the time in my backyard in Brooklyn when I have friends over because I don't have like, uh, I just have solar lights. I don't have like plug-in lights. Uh -huh. So it's really nice to have a torch light. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Ooh. First things first is obviously you take the label off like Katie showed you. And then you get some of those um, topiary or garden rocks, right? Just kind of throw that in blocks. there. All right, so that's done. Then you want to, while you're in the hardware store, get a coupling minimizer. All right, so it's big on one end, small on the other, all right? That's gonna go in there, but before it goes in there, right next to it in the aisle is that plumber's tape that you yeah. use when you put on the new shower head. All right, so once you've got that to where you feel like it's gonna be nice and snug in there, what you wanna do is then add in the wick that's also available at the craft store. So the wick goes down wow. there. Then bring it around and just start actually connecting the wick. Oh, that's why you hadn't cut through it. Right, ah. to the top. I'm wondering what you were waiting all right. for. All right, so before that, Get some of the uh, torch fuel in, again, available at home stores. Wow, this is intense. It's a little bubbly, a little bubbly. Okay, and once you've got your wick ready to go, just push it right in there. You're gonna have to let it soak for a minute so that fluid kind of gets up to the wick. Yeah. I've got one done here that's not as messy as this one, and I'll show you how you light it up. And we all stand back. Oh, I Don't love stand it. Back. And this I will stay it. lit I love for this. hours. And what I usually do is I have like four or five around the grill. Yeah, it's like Italian tiki torches. It's yeah. a little tiki torch with I your wine it. bottle. You could use the citronella oil. Yeah, hey. I use citronella all the time to keep all the, the bugs and stuff away, yeah. Such a good idea. Do you remember these plates that you put your beer in and you could snack and you can walk around with the beer? Well, now you can use this for your centerpiece in your charcuterie or your wine and cheese okay. platter here. You put it on that wine bottle. Getting filled. Oh. Yes. Yeah. I'm getting crafty. Oh, and levels. Want, hey, and then you got levels in tiers of snacks. Now, my, wow. the only thing is you don't really want to put any dips in here because you don't want people to kind of start compromising the uh, leverage you got here. Put some Papadou pepper, some Marcona almonds, and look at that. You got a beautiful tower of meat, cheese, grapes, and fruits, and this. spreads. So look fancy. at that, huh? Yeah. So then you take a couple roses, a couple daisies, Aww. a couple whatever you have, you put it in there, and the table is done.